and the response, Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I waited, I waited for the Lord, and he stooped down to me. He heard my cry. He put a new song into my mouth, praise of our God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. You do not ask for sacrifice and offerings, but an open ear. You do not ask for holocaust and victim. Instead, here am I. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. For the scroll of the book, in the scroll of the book it stands written, that I should do your will. My God, I delight in your law in the depth of my heart. Here I am, Lord, and I come to do your will. Your justice I have proclaimed in the great assembly. My lips I have not seen, you know it, O Lord. Here I am, Lord, and I come to do your will. And the acclamation. <clears throat> alleluia, alleluia. The seed is the word of God, Christ the sower. Whoever finds this seed will remain forever. Alleluia. So we pray, the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Jesus began to teach by the lakeside, but such a huge crowd gathered round him that he got into a boat on the lake and sat there. The people were all along the shore at the water's edge. He taught them many things in parables, and in the course of his teaching he said to them, Listen, imagine a sower going out to sow. Now it happened that as he sowed, some of the seed fell on the edge of the path, and the birds came and ate it up. Some seed fell on rocky ground, where it found little soil, and sprang up straight away, because there was no depth of earth. And when the sun came out, it was scorched, and not having any roots, it withered away. Some seed fell into thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it produced no crop. And some seeds fell into rich soil, and growing tall and strong produced crop, and yielded thirty, sixty, even a hundredfold. And he said, Listen, anyone who has ears to hear. The Gospel of the Lord. So we bring our prayers to God, and on this is the Feast of St. Lawrence of Brindisi. We, we think of the Capuchin Order. Uh, we pray for the Capuchins, particularly the Capuchins in Ireland. And we pray that they will be true to the spirit of Francis, St. Francis. And we pray St. Francis will, will guide them in their ministry. Lord, hear us. The last line that Hannah read said, We are only the earthenware jars that hold this treasure to make it clear that such a well, an overwhelming power comes from God and not from us. So we pray for the grace to trust in that treasure that's within us. Even though we might be fragile at, size, at stages, earthenware jars, we pray that God will strengthen that treasure, that presence and spark of God that's not just within some of us, but within all of us. May we grow in our sense of that and that overwhelming power that comes from God. Lord, hear us. It talked about let there be light shining out of darkness. We pray that we will be people of light and that we will try and shed light into the dark of people's lives, into those moments of anxieties and worries, be it sickness or separation or difficulty. We pray that we will try to be a light shining out of darkness. We pray for those who are in darkness. We pray that they will find light. Lord, hear us. In the psalm it said, I put a new song. He put a new song into my mouth. We pray that we, our lives will be a song, a song of love and light and compassion to those around us. Lord, hear us. Uh, the gospel was all about seed being sown and how seed needed roots to take root. So, we pray that we will sow seeds of love and kindness in our daily lives. We pray in thanksgiving for those people, particularly those who work on the front line and cares, who sow seeds of compassion into our world. And we pray that we'll put down deep roots as such, as 
that we strive to be people uh, of prayer or, or groundedness so that God's word can take root in our hearts and lives. Lord, hear us. We remember those who are sick, those who are sick at home or in hospital. We pray for, for those who are sick with the virus. We've been praying for the DJ and the mic. We have those sick around the world, those people that, who, who pray with us, who are praying for people in places like Sweden and Switzerland and various parts of our world. We pray for people recovering from operations. We pray for people maybe who've received bad news. We pray for healing and peace. Lord, hear us. And we remember our dead. We pray for those who sowed seeds of love in our hearts and lives, seeds that still uh, very much are fruitful and, and help us still on our journey. So with this in mind, we pray especially for the souls of Bridget and Michael Lynch. So we remember Bridget and Michael Lynch. And today we remember also John or J.P. O'Connor and his family and friends. And we pray eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord, and may perpetual light shine upon them and may they rest in peace. And we make these in all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread that we offer you. It's the fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. And so we stand and pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. O oh God, in whom, in who in the one perfect sacrifice brought to completion varied offerings of the law, accept, we pray, this sacrifice from your faithful servants, and make it holy as you bless the gifts of Abel, so that what each is offered to the honour of your majesty may benefit the salvation of all. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, and let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just, truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given us your Son as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners, and he became a neighbour to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father and that you care for all your children. And so with all the angels and saints, with one voice we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them, like the Jew falls, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, my Lord and my God. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brendan, our Bishop, and all your people. Remember Bridget and Michael and JP and all our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph and her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Lawrence Brindisi, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. And it's through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. And so we stand and we pray, and like St. Lawrence, we pray for that love and that grace that we need as we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who sent your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. And may that peace of the Lord may be with you always. And so we pray for peace for each other, especially those we love who need it at this time. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. So we pray, behold Jesus, that treasure that is within us all. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And so for those listening and watching, we might pray that spiritual communion, as we enter into communion with each other. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
Thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. And we'll say thanks for being with us and hope you have a good day. And stay safe, stay well, and God bless. Bye.